Hello, I'm Dr. Yvonne Lolly, a professor in the Plant Science Department at the University of Manitoba. Today I'd like to talk with you about plants and how they access the resources they need to grow through their roots in the soil. I'd also like to talk with you about the way that these resources move through the plant within their vascular system. Understanding how plant roots interact with the soil and how the plant vascular system functions helps us to understand how plants function on a day-to-day -day basis. It can also help us identify the problems and challenges that plants are facing out in the landscape around us. Let's start by considering life from a plant's point of view. Plants are sedentary organisms, meaning they can't move. They need to grow to get the things that they need. In general terms, the resources that they need are light, carbon, water, and nutrients. The next question is, where do plants find their resources in the environment? This illustration demonstrates that some resources like light, carbon, are taken up above ground by the leaves. But other resources like water and nutrients are taken up by the roots from the soil. However, many of the resources are needed by cells throughout the entire plant. So plants need a way to move these resources around once they've been taken up. For example, plant leaves and stems need water, but that's taken up by the roots. So plants need a way to transport this water up against the pull of gravity. Conversely, growing plant roots need a source of energy in the form of sugar that are produced by a photosynthesis in the leaves. So how does the plant make this happen? It's through its vascular system. The plant vascular system has many things in common with our own vascular system in the human body. This circulates blood to bring nutrients, water, and energy to the cells throughout our entire body. The cells and tissues that make up the plant vascular system are present in all parts of the plant, from their roots to their shoots and in every leaf. It's a network that connects the entire plant. Let's think of the vascular plant system as a divided highway running throughout the entire plant. One lane of traffic is the xylem. That's used to move water from the roots up against gravity to the shoots of the plant. The second and opposing lane of traffic is the phloem tissue. It moves the energy in the form of sugars from the leaves where photosynthesis is happening to all the other parts of the plant where it's needed. Learning about the plant vascular system really teaches us how interconnected the above ground parts of the plant are that we see most of the time to its roots that are growing below ground that we rarely have a chance to see. Roots are very important and I'd like to tell you more about them. One of the important functions of roots is of course to take up water and nutrients from the soil. Although roots come in many shapes and sizes, the important job of taking up water is left to the very finest of root hairs, like the ones you see on this young radish seedling. As a plant gets bigger, it needs more water and nutrients to sustain itself. For that reason, the roots of plants are often constantly growing to explore more soil and acquire these resources. Let's talk a bit more about what plant roots look like. Roots can be both very large or very small in size. They're branched and form a network. And what this network look like, looks like depends on the type of plant. Roots can grow very deep in the soil. Often the depth of the roots is taller than the height of the above ground shoots that you see. The depth of plant roots depends on the plant species, but also on soil conditions. For example, the depth of the topsoil, the presence of soil compaction or dense layers in the soil that are difficult for plant roots to push through. Soil moisture also plays a big role. Plant roots have a really difficult time growing through very dry soil, and they also have a hard time growing through excessively wet soil. So there's a spot in the middle that's just right, and you have the best plant growth. This really highlights the important interaction between plant roots and the soil. They can have a profound influence on each other. 
just as soil fertility and soil moisture conditions influence the ability of plants to grow, plants also make a positive contribution to the development and formation of the soil as its own natural body. For example, plant roots stabilize the soil to prevent soil erosion, as well decomposing plant material forms soil organic matter. And this gives the fertile topsoil that we know so well its characteristic dark color. Soil organic matter is also a glue that's used to, to hold soil particles together and give soil its structure. To wrap up this video, let's revisit some of the important points we've covered today about the plant vascular system and the interactions between plants and the soil. Plants have a vascular system to move resources to where they're needed in the plant. Xylem transports water from the roots to the rest of the plant, while phloem transports food from the leaves to where it's needed in the rest of the plant. We also talked about the fact that plants are sedentary. To support a growing plant, roots must grow to acquire water and nutrients from the soil. Soil fertility and soil moisture conditions influence the ability of plants to grow roots and shoots productively. However, plants also make an important contribution to the development and formation of soil.